Hey lovely family, this is Obapa Afrakuma and I bring to you Obapa Afrakuma's kitchen. So in today's recipe, I'm just going to share with you a quick tip on how to make your chicken stew. So I'm going to also share the ingredients with you as we go along with our recipe today. So in a clean saucepan, just go ahead, wash your drumsticks. So I'm using drumsticks for our chicken stew today. Wash it very thoroughly and also just go ahead, add some salt and this is my chicken seasoning right there and I went ahead to blend some garlic ginger onion as you can see this is going to make your chicken so tasty so don't forget to blend your garlic ginger and onion as well so give this a, a, a stir just to make sure that the chicken is really marinated properly and then we will go ahead to add some diced onion and then just a little bit of water and then just give it a stir and then once this is beautifully done just leave this to cook for about 15 minutes right as you can see this is stirred beautifully so I'm just covering this and I'm giving this about 10 to 15 minutes and that will be done as you can see look mm, it is looking so good very juicy very tasty so I'm just going ahead to fry my chicken and um, just add your cooking oil so I'm using the sunflower oil today you can go ahead to use any cooking oil of your choice so I'm just adding some I mean um, onions just to um, intensify our cooking oil to just give it some flavor as well and um, so as you can see it's very hot at the right temperature so I'm just going to go ahead to add my chicken so you want to allow your chicken to cook or fry properly and, and until it turns into golden brown and then you will set this aside. So I'm just going to leave this to also cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm just giving it a 10 and then it will be done in no um, time. This is looking very good. This is a very simple recipe of how you can make your chicken gravy or chicken stew. So this is mostly eaten with some rice or some kenke or some, I mean if you have some yam as well you can eat this with. It's really 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 tasty and it's very quick and very simple. To make so once this is on the cooker this is my ingredients for my tomato stew so i've got some bell peppers big onion carrots some scotch bonnet i've got some ginger and i'm using the plum tomatoes for this recipe so we are going to blend all this together and we go ahead with our chicken stew so in a clean saucepan just go ahead again add some cooking oil and then i'm just going to go ahead to add some diced onion right there so as you can see this smells so good and it I mean we're just going to go ahead to make our stew so just give it a stir allow it to intensify your oil or your cooking oil and then I'm adding some tomato puree to my I mean onions as well so you're going to give this a stir just allow this to fry properly because you don't want to have the I mean the, the taste of the tomato puree in your stew so allow this to cook and just give it a stir and then just leave it for about just three to five minutes to cook so as you can see this is looking all good it's fried nicely so this is the chicken stock that I, I reserved earlier. So I've just added some chicken stock into my um, tomato puree and um, onions. So I'm just going to allow this to cook for about some three minutes and then I'll go ahead to add all my blended vegetables. So this is our bell peppers, our carrots, um, squat bonnet chili, some ginger and the plum tomatoes. So just go ahead, blend everything and then just pour everything into your already based um, tomato puree base. So this is looking very, very, very good. It smells so good. And I'm going to cover my sauce and allow this to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this is how it's looking right now. I'm just adding some seasoning. So I've added some bay leaves and added some chicken um, seasonings as well. So just be careful of your seasoning because you added um, your chicken stock, which has also got the spices already, all your seasonings. So you need to be really careful. So as you can see, I added my chicken and look, it's looking all good. It's so simple. It tastes really, really, really delicious. 
and you cannot resist this taste. Once you're watching this, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share my videos, please, to all your friends and family, and also um, try this recipe. And don't forget to drop down some comments for me to know how you did on this recipe. Your chicken um, sauce is all done. Allow this to cook um, for about 10 minutes more when you um, put your chicken in. And I added some vegetables just to give it a bit of color, some onions as well. Stay blessed. I love you.